so I was just resting, man, just chilling, enjoying my life. Just being a regular person for a few months. Uh, enjoying uh, spending time with my family. And that's basically it. That's all I did. Just, Could you put it away and not be thinking about yeah, I didn't even I didn't watch boxing. I didn't do none of that. I didn't watch sports or not, so I just I just stood home chilling. What you learn from your fight against Keith Thurman? Um, I learned that uh, you can't leave in the hands of the judges. <laughs> Gotta go for the kill, but it is what it is. It was a close fight. Could have went either way. They gave it to him. It is what it is. Well, the way division has gotten gotten hot again, but you know, Thurman's out there still. But Errol Spence is hot now. I mean, uh, uh, Crawford is uh, moving up to 147. Um, when you look at these guys, uh, what do you think? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, everyone's got to prove themselves. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, everyone's got to prove themselves. Um, you got to let the, the um, puzzle pieces fall into place. Um, Eventually, everyone's gonna fight each other. But for now, for me, I do like I, I did it my whole career. I just take it one fight at a time. I can't worry about who's in the division or who's who, because things happen. You never know. So how's your fight with Brandon Rios? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to get back in the ring. I'm excited to get back in the ring uh, for um, a little layoff. I want to say a long layoff. But um, I feel good. I feel good. I feel rejuvenated. My body feels fresh. Uh, my body healed real good. Um, training camp's been going well. No injuries. And it's time to get back in there and go to work. Danny, how long was it from uh, you, from the time you the time you got back into the gym? I've been in the gym. I've been in the gym for three and a half months already. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been in the gym for about three and a half months because I thought I was fighting it. Um, I thought I was fighting uh, before, so I was already in the gym. So we're saying what, October, November? Yeah, I thought I was going to fight like in January. Okay. I thought I was going to fight in January or, uh, or December. Okay. So I was in the gym already training, so I was already getting ready, you know, shaking off, staying loose. So I've been in the gym for a little bit already. You got a little bit itchy though, because I mean, this is part of your life. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you turn around and take time off like that, that's... <laughs> I mean, I was gotta just, fight your fight, fight your way yeah, against I was, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was just enjoying my life to be real. I wouldn't even think about boxing because there's always going. Boxing is going to be here forever. It's been here for hundred years. <laughs> so I was just enjoying my time off, and I already, I knew that I'll be back sooner or later. So I'm excited. Does it feel like a like second chapter or something like that? So now you, you, you suffered the first loss, close loss, but now you're. You're back in the hunt to win a title. Does it feel like, you know, different? It's it definitely continue? a new chapter in my life. A new chapter in my career. Um, just something else to overcome. Just like I overcame everything else in my career. It's just another thing to overcome. One fight at a time to get back where I belong. Does it give you motive? Does it like juice the motivation? Anymore? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I'm always, I'm still me. I'm still Danny Garcia. I'm still the guy who can fight his ass off. Still the champion. Still whatever. And I'm gonna come show, show the world. Cause once you're a champion, you're always a champion. And February 17th, I'm gonna show the world. You know why I'm one of the best fighters in the world. Danny, how do you feel about your return uh, to, to Las Vegas and, and what uh, Brandon Rios is the challenge he brings to you? I feel good. I feel good. I had my best performances in Vegas against Khan and Matisse. I had a lot of my undercar fights there. I like Vegas. It's a good atmosphere. I feel good. That's where that's where the stars fight. So it's a perfect place for me to come back. Now, Danny, Danny, do you um are you looking at this, you know, box him, you know, considering he's a straightforward type of guy, or is a knockout something that you're looking for to make a statement and let people know, you know, who you are in the division? I've been I've been working on both. I've been working on boxing, and I've been working on banging. It just depends how I feel that day. If I feel like I'm way stronger than him and I'm able to just get him out of there, then I'm just gonna go in there and get him out of there. If not, then we ready for 12 rounds. 12, round, 12 rounds or less. How do you see the fight going, Danny? I think he's gonna try to make it an ugly fight. Yeah? I think he's gonna try to make it an ugly fight. Gonna try to pressure, um, try to 
try to push the fight. But I'm, I'm gonna show them that I'm the boss from round one. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's what we've been working on, just going there. Setting the pace, setting the tempo, getting my punches off, and just fighting a smart fight.